After this video, you will know how to get your Ready Player Me avatar into the Unreal Engine using the Ready Player Me SDK. This video is sponsored by Ready Player Me. Ready Player Me is a cross-game avatar platform for any digital experience. The avatars are used in over 7,000 applications already, including VR Chat, Medium VR, Live, and many others. And the mission is to have more open and connected digital experiences where you can create your avatar once and use it across all of these applications. To start with the Unreal setup, we need to go to the uh, Ready Play Me Unreal SDK. Don't worry, I will leave it uh, linked in the description. Here you find it, and then we want to go to the release. So in case you uh, don't see it, that's the releases over here. And then you want to make sure that you're using the correct Unreal version. So I'm using the 5.1 and the blueprint. So this is the one that I need. And let me just download it and then um, extract it and then we can move on. Now if you extract the folder that we just downloaded, you will have these two folders as well, Ready Player Me and GLTF Runtime. And you need to take these two folders and put them into the Unreal Engine plugins folder. So let me just show you where you can find it. So the standard path for the Unreal Engine folder is um, C, Program Files, Epic Games, Unreal Engine 5.1, engines and then plugins so that is basically where if you don't change anything that is where it will end up and now we need to take these two and paste them in here so then we can use the sdks inside of unreal and there we go and now that is already done for the importing the plugins so now let's create an unreal project so you basically open the um, epic games launcher and then unreal engine and here we can create a new blank project uh, we can just uh, we can just call it one second. We can just call it RPM and then setup or whatever you want to. Here you can decide between uh, the blueprint one or the C plus plus one. I will just go with blueprint now and then, whoops, almost a typo. And then we can create and I see you when it's done loading. All right, here we have a fresh Unreal project and the first thing we want to do is we want to go to settings and then where is it? Plugins and in here over install plugins we want to check gltf runtime and then ready play me as well there we go and that will yeah take unreal to restart i hope it doesn't take too long but let's see after restarting you should see this window over here and now ready play me is asking you to enable the analytics so they can improve the product let's just do so right now and now uh, we have successfully installed um, the plugin but there are a couple of steps we need to do so let's go to our content browser, hit settings. And then in here, we want to make sure that we have the show engine content and show plugin content. And now we should see it over here as well. And the next thing is we want to go to engine and then plugins. And here we want to make sure that there are a couple of folders. So we need to make sure that we have the GLTF uh, content and the gltf classes c++ classes over here and then we also need to make sure we have the ready player me content and the ready player me c++ classes as well and that means we have successfully installed the plugin into unreal engine so now let's actually load our avatar into unreal engine therefore we go to ready player me content oh one second open it up over here and then we go to maps and here we can open up the ready player me demo so that shouldn't take too long. There we go. Now we want to go back to our Ready Player Me page over here and then copy the GLB URL. So you can choose whatever avatar you want to have and go back to Unreal Engine. And now the last thing we need to do, we need to locate our avatar. So here we have the actor, um, Ready Player Me actor and the half body actor. Let's take the full body one. Let me just expand this a little bit. And here we have the actor. And now in here, we need to locate where we want to put our uh, GLB URL and here URL shortcode. We hit control V, now it's copied. Now we can hit play to see our avatar in action. And there we go. Even a nice little animation. So that looks pretty cool. So this is how you get your Ready Play Me avatar into Unreal Engine. This is it already for the video. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. And if you want to do the same for Unity instead, then check out this video. Thanks so much for listening. And as always, I see you in the next one.